Hello sunshine, welcome back. I know it's been a minute, but we're back. So today, I'm gonna show you guys, this is our new setup. I rearranged my office. I will be showing you guys how I make my flower arrangements, centerpieces for the candy table. These are the flowers that I will be using to make my arrangement. Sometimes you guys, if you guys cannot find the flowers in the color that you need, what I do is, I spray paint them. I spray paint them. I buy these at Michael's, the Dollar Tree, and especially because you can't find the colors that you need. These flowers, I got them at the Dollar Tree. You get one, two, three, four, five, five flowers for a dollar twenty-five, I believe. These I got on sale at Michael's for fifty percent off. But if you have a voucher which are coins that add up as you purchase in the store, you can get a voucher from $5 to $10. So you can use that voucher on anything that is on sale and regular price. So if these were 50% off, these were $20, so they come down to $10 plus my $5 voucher. It's a steal, it's a win-win. And I like these because they do, they're so big and they do take a lot of space in the arrangements. So these flowers, I purchased it purchased them at the Dollar Tree so right now I'm gonna be cutting them about like two inches one and a half inch on some of them I'm off and because I do that is because the styrofoam is thick and I want to make sure it goes through I also purchased these at the Dollar Tree and I spray painted these black I don't know if it's gonna go because the mom did tell me she doesn't, the theme is, the color is beige and black, but she doesn't want it to look too gothic. I don't know. I wanna use these, but I don't know how it's gonna look because I never made um, an arrangement with black. So this is the first time, this is something different for me and I love different. Alright, these are the ones. I also spray painted these in beige. They were like a little yellow, and I think they look really nice. But compared to beige and the yellow, it does look a little off. This styrofoam, I purchased the, I purchased two of these styrofoam. I bought this at Michaels, and this one is a six and a six inches, basically. Fits over my head, and I have a big head. And it's really thick, so I like the quality. Plugged in my glue gun. I have baby's breath, but I don't know. See, right? I don't know how it's gonna look. I like that. I'm like, I'm like, kind of not going with these anymore. Kind of looks off. Throws it off. See, I like these three. I like how this arrangement looks. I also, I also purchased these and spray painted these. But I don't know. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I see it. It's looking. It's looking. How does this look? Huh? These, I'm gonna make them. I'm gonna make this one. These always push them the greenery, the green. Always pu push it to the top before you cut it. I'm not using scissors to cut the flowers because you know how these artificial flowers they have like a little bit of metal inside. So I have this one. This this one cuts like through metal, like light metal, not thick metal. So it's easier to cut. Don't don't be using scissors. Don't use scissors to cut artificial flowers because they have that wire in the middle. And it's not gonna cut. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and start sticking in my black. When you stick these in through the styrofoam, when you stick any artificial flower, don't stick them in straight. 
don't stick them in straight. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!